With the advent of OpenList, we welcome a new era of VGC Pokemon, a more strategy-dependent game. Pokemon defines OpenList as when players are required to provide a legible and accurate list of the Pokemon that comprise their team, with all Pokemon information provided on the team list made available to the opponent, except for the Pokemon stats. This will make VGC doubles less guessing and scouting and more maneuvering and strategy. In every game that is heavily strategy based, has puzzles designed around them. Chess has entire books written on puzzle examples. The newspaper used to release bridge puzzles. That's a card game for those of you under 40. As such, it felt appropriate to create puzzles based around the new game structure. These puzzles are designed to help players think quicker and become better VGC players. Improve your own VGC play by solving some puzzles. So how do the puzzles work? First, you'll be presented with a board position. We will consider a board position to be a set of Pokemon on your side and a set of Pokemon on your opponent's side. The board position will also include the moves, abilities, items, and terror types of all the Pokemon, as well as the speed tier for the current game state. The goal of the puzzle is to improve or better your board position in one round of Pokemon moves. A better board position would be having more health on your Pokemon, a more favorable typing matchup, a better turn order, or obviously just more Pokemon. The second piece of these puzzles is a challenge by choice, a time limit. Just like regular VGC rules, a 45 second timer will be going. Pick your moves before the timer runs out, or pause the video to give yourself some more time. At the end of each puzzle, I will provide a quick breakdown and give my analysis of the position. See if your selected moves align with mine, decide if you agree or disagree with my analysis. And that's it. I'm a Pokemon parent, and this is a Pokemon VGC puzzle. Why was that the best option? Okay, let's think. The double Omni Boost from Commander is very scary. This is why we need to have answers like we do. Iron Hands is very strong to Dondozo, unfortunately it is also weak to Dondozo's Earthquake. Using Fake Out's Flinch Effect will nullify the opportunity for the Giant Fish to KO Iron Hands immediately. And Speed Tears tell us that we are in danger. There will be debate about the choice of Spore, however, here is why Spore is superior to Clear Smog on turn 1. We know that after Spore, there is 100% probability the opponent will pick Sleep Talk, which will randomly pick one of Dondozo's other three moves to use while asleep. That's 33% for a no effect, 33% for neutral, and 33% for a very scary attack. This means there is a 33% chance of a very poor outcome, which we can simply cover for with a Detect from Iron Hands. The Converse Order guarantees an Earthquake will come out, although reduced in damage, 
33% chance of disaster is a much better choice than a guaranteed destruction. Do you agree or disagree with my analysis? Let me know, and until next time, take care of yourself.